Welcome back guys! It's your girl Jensine aka Jungle Naps. It is early this morning. I've got my coffee. I just I'm addicted to caffeine. I love it. Ah. Okay so if you're not subscribed please do so and if you're one of my oldie but goodie subbies I'm so happy to see you again. Let's get started with today's video. Now I'm going to be comparing the Eco Tools Perfecting Blender Duo. This is what it looks like. It comes with two sponges. Now, this claims to be an alternative or a dupe to the Beauty Blender. You guys, if you've been hiding under a rock, <laughs> you know the Beauty Blender is a makeup sponge that is like reigning supreme over all makeup sponges, but it's pretty expensive. It's about 20 bucks. So uh, this I copped at Target. It was on sale for $8.99. Regularly, I think it's $9.99. So let's just say roughly about $10, half the price of the Beauty Blender, and you do get two. I love it's got a unique little design. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging and then we can go ahead and test it out. So I've taken them out of the box and this is what these guys look like out of the box. And I've wet them so they're slightly damp. So what I love about this is it's got this unique flat side and also a little pointed tip so you can really get like up close and personal with any edges, if you do your nose contouring, you know, concealer, all that jazz. And this smaller one here has the same. So on one side, on both of these, it's got a kind of smaller angle that's slanted down and the other side here is a larger one. So it's got multiple uses. Obviously, you can use this side for blending large areas with like your foundation and also this side as well. These shorter sides you can use for getting into more precise areas and also the pointed tip can be used as well for getting into those little crevices and stuff where sometimes makeup can just be really hard to get in and blend. So what I'm going to be doing is um, comparing this to the Beauty Blender because we all want to know how it performs against that and seeing if this is going to be an effective dupe for the Beauty Blender. So one thing that I will note is when I went to go ahead and rinse these with some water, I really didn't like that um, as I was squeezing out the excess with my hands, some dye from this Beauty Blender came out. Like it was the actual color, this bright green. And I was like, ooh, like I'm about to put this on my face. I have sensitive skin, so I have no idea if that's going to make a difference. I did rinse both of them out very thoroughly until I didn't see any color coming out, but I just want to make note of that for any of you guys that have really sensitive skin. I'm not sure how it's going to react for my skin, but I mean, you know, we'll see. It could be a possible culprit of any acne if anybody uses this. I will say that on the box, it's a dermatologist tested and approved, and it's 100% vegan. If that, you know, means anything to you, then cool. I'm going to prime my face with this Tem2 uh, Base Smooth and Matte Primer. I love it. It just really gives you a nice, smooth base without drying out your face. Some primers can just have that effect of drying it out, but your skin still feels nice and moisturized to the touch. Today I'm going to be using my trusty Cover FX uh, Natural Finish Foundation in the color N90. And I'm going to be using the Eco Tools makeup sponge on this side of my face. And then I've got the Handy Dandy Beauty Blender on this side. If you're wondering how the sizes compare for the bigger ones, this is what it looks like. And then for the smaller one, this is what it looks like right here. Okay, so we already know that the normal Beauty Blender soaks up a lot of foundation when it's being used, but for the purposes of testing this out, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so so far, so good with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to use the rounded side here to apply the foundation on this side of my face. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so my first impression with the foundation is this is actually really good. And I feel like it soaked up less foundation than the actual Beauty Blender. And I feel like it looks so good. I feel like they look just the same. It does feel like spongy. It, this one's a bit more dense, but still very spongy. So I like that you can manipulate it however you want to get into all those different spaces. So, so far I'm loving this. It looks really, 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 really great. So of course, what would this video be if we didn't compare concealer blending with both products? So I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to be using the smaller one just cause I wanna switch it up. And I'm gonna be using this pointed side compared to the Beauty Blender's pointed side. So I recently did a video comparing the Tarte Shape Tape to the new NARS concealer. If you guys haven't checked that out, it's so good. And um, yeah, I was really, really impressed by both products. Okay, so I'm using the larger side that's slanted here, and then I'm going in. I will say it feels like less product is being soaked into my makeup sponge, just like before. And with the straight edge, I'm really able to go ahead and cut out my um, eyeshadow if I want to with my concealer. That's a really nice plus. Also going to highlight the rest of my face, so my chin and the bridge of my nose and my forehead. And I'm also going to use the smaller side just to show you guys what that looks like. Let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I will come back and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on both products. I'm back. Okay, so I've finished my makeup. So here are my thoughts, you guys. I'm just gonna say flat out that I love the Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. I even like it more than my Real Techniques sponge. And what I love about it that makes it even better than the Beauty Blender is that it doesn't soak up as much makeup. So I found, in my personal opinion, that the concealer on this eye is more full coverage because I used it with the Eco Tools sponge than the actual Beauty Blender side. So I think that in terms of actually, you know, being able to use the most of your product and having it be full coverage, if you want that, that's amazing. I think it does a beautiful, beautiful job. There aren't any lines that appear to be unblended or patchy or anything like that. So I think that they did a really, really, really great job. Now, my only drawback that I can see is the little bit of dye that was coming out of it. So I definitely suggest when you first get it, just wash it, you know, use whatever you use to clean your makeup brushes or beauty blenders and give it a thorough, thorough cleansing. Um, I wish I'd done that before I actually used it. I only, you know, wet it, but I tried to squeeze as much out as I could, you know, but whatever. I think that as long as I don't start breaking out from it, it's totally fine. And I love that again, that it's, you know, 100% vegan and uh, derma dermatologist approved. That's amazing. So I give this two thumbs up. I definitely suggest that you guys go check this out, try it. And then I wanna know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Do you think that it's worth it for the price? You know, $8.99, $9.99. Do you guys think that you would try it yourselves? Let me know down below in the comment section. And also, if you guys have anything that you want me to review, please let me know down in the comments as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.